Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the Thorn Catalyst in Destiny 2 Season of the Witch. Well, technically not Season of the Witch, but we'll be talking about how you can actually unlock the Catalyst when it releases. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Also, now that we've reached 15,000 subscribers, I will be giving you guys one last week to enter the giveaway. Um, requirements still follow, but there's no like strict goal. It's literally seven days from now, and then the winner will be pulled from there. But yeah, with all that said, let's get right into it. Nonetheless, season, um, well, technically season 23 releases in less than a month. Bungie announced that this hand cannon right here will be getting a major buff. It's going to have 15 plus more range and 15 plus stability, which the main problem with Thorn was the stability problem, which is a big problem, especially on Mosin keyboard. Now, I personally have been very, very excited for this catalyst. Now, you may wonder yourself, well, how will it be unlocked? Well, there's definitely a coincidence with all hand cannon catalysts, which I'll cover. Also, excuse my light level, my warlock is like terribly under light. I just wanted to rock this storm with this cool drip. We don't talk about it. Okay. So if we head over to our collections, patterns in progress, and then exotic catalysts, we got a kinetic. Um, and then we look at some of the hand cannons. Crimson. Defeat enemies by landing precision final blows with crimson. Storm catalyst. Insert the catalyst. Storm kills. Drain kills. So we pretty much all have a pattern with the kills. Targets defeated with it. And then on top of that, when we look at the Hawkmoon catalyst, targets defeated. Um, when we look at the... Actually, I think that's all the catalysts right now. They're... Uh, there, yeah, that's actually all surprisingly. Nonetheless, yeah, that's catalyst wise. Um, if we look at like area, the sunshot, it's pretty much just kills. So all hand cannon catalysts are actually kills. Now all hand cannon catalysts are also acquired through doing crucible strikes, raids, and grandmasters. They're a random drop at the end of every thing that you complete. Like as an example, I got Monte Carlo from the um, like GM I did like literally last week. Um, so. It's kind of weird how the catalyst drops, but it's, according to Dana Miners, going to be a completely just random drop, RNG drop, like, you just do things in the game and it will drop. It definitely helps if you have more of the catalyst in the game. Also, supposedly, it increases your drop chance if you have it in your inventory without the catalyst equipped, because it seems to be the case when you acquire an exotic a few games after you get the catalyst, so that would definitely increase it with Thorn. Now, this is said by Data Miners. Um, I'll link all the stuff in the description below, but yeah, I mean, that's what we know for now, but yeah, by Requel, I'll show you what I'm referring to, like, um, the stat problem that this hand can actually had. That does seem, like, oddly confusing, but yeah. Alrighty, now that we have loaded it in, uh, let's check our Thorn. So our Thorn has 85 handling, so there's no need to actually run Aphidian Aspects for the handling buff. I mean, if you wanted to, you, you could, but in my opinion, there's just no reason to. You may as well run uh, Transverse Steps just for the m movement ability buff. But yeah, okay, so the main like damage problem with Thorn was, first of all, it was a 140, which... 120s are superior right now. Now, Soul Devourer allows you to actually two-tap to the head, so it's quite good, if you ask me, in my opinion. That is definitely one, like, major crazy thing about this, uh, hand cannon. Okay. So, like, if you look at the recoil patterns, I am on mouse and keyboard. This is not me controlling my mouse at all. I have my hand completely off my mouse, well, besides clicking the button. Now, when I control the recoil... Pretty much no recoil, right? And then on top of the 15 stability that you're going to get on the catalyst and the 20, 15 plus range, you're going to be able to pretty much hit from here with absolutely no recoil drop off, which is going to be absolutely like crazy. Um, so we're definitely going to be in a thorn meta next season. I, I predict that. Keep in mind, if you also have the thorn ornament, it supposedly makes the gun sight actually better. Um, supposedly, it actually gives it more stability. I don't know how I feel about it, but it definitely does feel better. Yeah, that's all for today's video. Hit the like button, sub, stay safe, Guardians, peace. Guardians, I would like to recommend you a great service. Deving.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, dungeons, Charles of Osiris, exotic farms, and many more. All the services can be done without account sharing. You don't need to give your login or password. To order a service that you like, you need to choose the sell play option. When you select something that you like, choose your platform. In this case, if you play on PC, select PC. From here, to choose the self-play option, go all the way down and then click self-play. 
After you're satisfied with what you're going to purchase, add to cart and then click purchase. After finding out what you want to purchase, you're going to want to go to your coupons and type code HECTIC for a 15% discount on all products. From here, type your email so that they can contact you. Then choose a payment method and check out. I'd highly advise this service. The best part is, is you can contact an operator at 